Hi, we press the button to turn on a computer or laptop, but nothing happens. This problem can scare you right away. Is it really the end of the computer? But no need to panic. In most cases, everything is resolved very quickly and at no cost. In this video, we'll take a look at the reasons why your computer might not turn on and what to do in this case. Even if you don't have such a problem now, watch, it may come in handy in the future. And pay attention, in this video we will focus specifically on situations when a PC doesn't turn on at all, when you press a button and there are no signs of life. If the coolers start to make noise, there are sounds, for example different error codes, but there is no picture on the screen, this is another situation. A computer turns on, but there are problems. Watch about it in other videos using the links in the description. When these videos will be released on the channel, links will be added. Now we'll try to turn on the PC which doesn't turn on. If you don't want to miss new useful videos, subscribe to the PC and P channel and click the bell. Firstly, determine the cause of this problem. First one. Did your computer stop turning on unexpectedly? Once you came up, decided to turn it on, but it simply doesn't respond. Or second one, in the process of work, it turned off and after that it stopped turning on. There may be different reasons for these two cases, therefore let's divide the action plan into these two situations. And first, consider what to do if it suddenly just stopped turning on. Let's think. We press the power button, which means first of all we need to check if power is being supplied to our PC. To do this, take the following steps. First, check if there is power in the outlet, because they also break. You can insert any other electrical appliance instead of the computer cable and check. Or maybe there is no power in your house. Second. Make sure the cable is firmly plugged into the computer's power supply. And if it is a laptop, check all connections on the charger. Don't forget about the power supply button. The third. Now let's check the button. It is unlikely that it gave up right away. It usually happens gradually. But check it. Disassemble the computer and on the motherboard find the contact to which this button is connected. It is signed as power plus and minus. You can close them with each other, for example with a small screwdriver. If the PC turns on, it means that the button is broken. You need to repair it or alternatively in the system unit you can put the reset button on these contacts and use this button to turn on the computer. Another reason that the computer doesn't turn on may be peripheral equipment are out of order. And it can be different, therefore check. Disconnect everything that is connected to your PC with USB cables and others. Also try to disconnect the video card, if it is discrete, other cards from PCI slots, RAM, as well as BIOS battery. If the computer even turns on and beeps, you can connect the devices one at a time, restarting the computer each time, and so determine which one is the problem. Next, check the connection of the power supply cables to the motherboard. Usually it is a 24-pin connector and another 4-pin or 8-pin connector. If there are traces of burning or a burning smell, then your motherboard needs to be repaired or replaced. The 6. Carefully inspect the motherboard, especially the capacitors. If they are swollen, then the motherboard will need to be repaired or replaced. After that, you can disassemble the power supply and also inspect the capacitors for integrity. If the power supply is burned out, you will most likely smell it. Then you will have to buy a new power supply. By the way, if you have recently upgraded your PC, for example, added new devices to it, make sure that your power supply has enough power, otherwise it may also prevent you from turning on the computer. Now let's look at second plan of action when during the work the PC turned off and stopped turning on. In this situation there are two main reasons. The first one overheating and the second problems with the incoming power, for example a short circuit. In both cases the built-in electrical protection is triggered and the computer will not turn on for a while. So again, don't panic. It has the words don't panic printed in large friendly letters on its cover. If it's a laptop, 
turn off the power, remove the battery and put it aside for a while. If this is a desktop PC, power it off as well. Let it stand without power for a few minutes to half an hour and then try turning it on. You can try to get the BIOS battery for a while. Of course, if possible, this wait time would be worth devoting to fixing the problem. After all, the protection works for a reason. There is a threat of damage, which means it is not desirable for this problem to recur. What can be done? First reason – overheating. The main cause of overheating is dust in the heatsink. If you see that there is a lot of dust and it is hot, this is most likely the problem. And you shouldn't put laptops under load on fabric, bed, sofa, etc. Fabric blocks ventilation and prevents cooling. Clean the main heatsink in your PC. For this it is better to use soft brushes, but vacuum cleaner will do too. The main thing is not to use very high power and do everything carefully. This express cleaning will temporarily solve the problem of overheating. Complete cleaning with disassemble of the laptop or system unit with removal of the radiator is certainly better. Check out how to do it on a laptop in this video. If after cleaning the processor is still very hot, then you will have to change the thermal paste. And it's actually not difficult, we discussed this theme in the same video. The second reason short circuit or loss of contact. These are pretty dangerous reasons. They can damage the power supply and even the motherboard. So check the electrics leading to your PC well. Cables, chargers, especially on laptops, due to the constant movement, the cables bend, break and problems can arise inside. If you have such cable, replace it or the entire charger as soon as possible. The third reason – malfunctions. We have listed those problems that are fairly easy to solve, but there may be others, for example a faulty motherboard, power supply or a burned out processor. They are most rare, but this happens. Therefore, if none of the above helps, conduct a careful examination of these parts, whether there are traces of burntness, whether something smells burnt. If you find this, you will have to contact the service for repair and possibly replace the burned component with a new one. In this video I tried to convey to you the most basic things that will help you to determine the cause of the PC not turning on. And if possible, fix everything. I hope that you will not have such problems, and if they do, let they will be the most insignificant and easily solved ones. Write in the comments what other reasons you know for not turning on your PC. Also, if this video really helped you, the best gratitude is help in promoting it. Like, comment and repost to friends so that they can watch. There are many more useful videos on our channel. Stay tuned and see you in there.